of all the business owners and entrepreneurs, the crazy ones, the believers, the doers, the clever makers, the action takers, and everybody else in between, this podcast was designed for you. Welcome to a Business Growth Mindset Podcast. I'm Christian Lavalsi, and I'm incredibly grateful to be here today and share this episode with you. In today's episode, I'm going to share and show you how to build your dream 100 and grow your business. It applies to corporates, tradies, CEOs, and entrepreneurs, and I know that it will help you grow and flourish. This episode is an absolute how-to with practical steps that will help you attract more of the customers that you want and capitalize on the 80-20 rule over and over again. The results of implementing the Dream 100 is that it will help you live an extraordinary life faster than you had imagined. If this is your very first time listening to my podcast, please make sure that you subscribe by clicking the subscribe button and change your notifications alert so that you don't miss future episodes. The goal of the Dream 100 is to take your ideal buyers from I've never heard of this company to what is this company that I keep hearing about to I think I've heard of that company to yes, I've heard of that company to yes, I do business with that company. Now, if you're new to the concept of the Dream 100, don't worry. I'm going to explain it to you in detail from its foundations right through to how you can apply it. Now, a few years ago, I decided to fully explore the Dream 100 strategy that was coined by the late Chet Holmes. What I found was that despite there being hundreds of videos and resources on the topic, not one was comprehensive enough to fully understand the strategy. Now, I spent days reading, researching, and putting it all together, and finally, I put it into practice for me and some of my clients, and now I want to share it with you in its entirety. But before I dive into uh, the how-tos, I must share with you some background on Chet Holmes. Chet was one of America's top marketing executives, trainer, strategic consultant, and uh, a motivational expert. He identified and developed the 12 core competencies that have been proven to provide the main structure of great companies. Now, Chet authored the best-selling book, The Ultimate Sales Machine. It was number one business book on Amazon, number one sales and marketing book on Amazon, and also on the New York Times bestseller list. Chet also authored the Business Growth Master Series with Jay Abraham, Mega Marketing and Sales and Guerrilla Marketing meets Karate Master with Jay Levinson. Now, I bought my copy when I was working as the Director of Sales and Marketing for an energy startup. Now, this was my first corporate gig since 2001 and part of my rebuilding. Now, I never read the entire book, but I did use a handful of the 12 core concepts to help scale this startup from 100,000 of capital to eight million, eight, well, eight-figure turnover in less than three years. Now, I'd wish I'd spent more time reading the book and used the framework while building my ventures over the last decade. I dare say I would have experienced much more success. But then again, I love learning the hard way, and I bet so many of you can relate to that. Now, I won't go into the 12 core concepts today. I'll save that for another episode, or better still, uh, I suggest that you grab yourself a copy of The Ultimate Sales Machine by Chet Holmes from Amazon and take a deep dive. Today is reserved for this amazing concept called The Dream 100. And I promise you, if you hang around for the entire episode and master it, you will get results beyond anything that you have imagined. Now, Russell Brunson is one of the world's brightest marketers, and he's a massive fan of The Dream 100. He has used Chet's concept to attract the attention of some of the world's most influential people. Over the past 15 years, Russell has built a following of over a million entrepreneurs, sold hundreds of thousands of copies of his best-selling books, popularized, pop, popularized the concept of sales funnels, and in 2014 co-founded the SaaS software company called ClickFunnels, 
that helps tens of thousands of entrepreneurs quickly get their message out to the marketplace. He used the Dream 100 formula to launch ClickFunnels and in less than three years was turning over $100 million. Now, Russell Brunson makes no secret of the fact that Chet Holmes Dream 100 formula was foundational to his success in scaling ClickFunnels, as well as attracting attention of some of the leading influencers in the world that are now his friends. Now, this includes Tony Robbins, Dean Dan Graziosio, Dan Kennedy, Robert Kiyosaki, and more. But why am I telling you this? Because you need to understand the effect of the Dream 100. You see, all these influencers used the Dream 100 strategy, and now they all use funnels to sell products and services more rapidly and effectively. Now, for full disclosure, I have absolutely no affiliation to the ultimate sales machine by Chet Holmes or to Chet Holmes himself, Russell Brunson, ClickFunnels, Tony Robbins, Dean Grazioso, Dan Kennedy, or Robert Kiyosaki. The only thing that I have in common with these amazing leaders is that I have a passion for helping others become outstanding. I use sales funnels, albeit not very well, but I embrace the Dream 100. So I bet you're like, hey, Christian, get on with it and tell me more about the Dream 100. What on earth is it? Well, here it is. The Dream 100 is a list of your absolute ideal dream clients. It's a list of companies and individuals that you would love to work with above all other companies and individuals. It can also be a list of affiliates that you want to align with so that you can help scale your products and services. Now, this list is formed from your niche market and becomes a clearly defined and targeted hit list. Now, I have broken it down into six steps, making it easier to follow and action. So step one, you need to profile your Dream 100. When building your Dream 100 client list, consider three questions. Who have you enjoyed working with the most? Who have you gotten the best results for? And finally, what gets you crazy excited about working with them? Now, what you're looking for is a pattern, particularly around niche, industry, and mindset. Now, for most companies, 20% of your clients contribute 80% of your revenue. So what attracts those 20% to you? This helps you form a list of the top 100 people that if you had them, or if you had more of them on your client list, it would fill your heart with joy because you would be fulfilled. You would be doing what you love. For those that love what you do, they would dramatically move the needle in your business and supercharge your profits. Now, step two is you've got to categorize your Dream 100 into subsets. Now, for example, when Russell Brunson built out his affiliate Dream 100 list, he broke his list down into the following subsets, owners, bloggers, podcasters, social media people. He searched for the people with the biggest lists, reach, and influence. When I built my Dream 100 list, I kept it simpler. I used three subsets, and they were CEOs, business owners, companies. Now, here is a little hack. Start with about five names in each subset. And once you have these, you can profile them using Sales Navigator and find companies and individuals that are similar. Further to naming the individuals and company, you are going to need the following information. And that is the, the contact person, the title, the phone number, the email, the mailing address, social media handles such as LinkedIn and Twitter. Also, try your best to gather as many other relevant details as you can, such as looking at professional bios to see what awards or recognition a company or leader has earned, uh, recent article mentions, and any books that have been published. Now, doing so will inform you about who you'll be talking to, get to know your ideal clients, and you'll have a much higher chance of closing the deal. Now, step three, start stalking. Now you need to subscribe, follow, buy their products and friend them. This is about engaging with them and being noticed. The more you engage, the more likely it will be that you will be noticed and remembered. 
you must consider that only 3% of your sellable market is ready to buy right now. So this is a long-term strategy. Remember, familiarity breeds trust. The key to this process is to position yourself on their radar. You need to be top of mind and position yourself as an obvious choice when they find themselves ready to buy what it is that you offer. Now to supercharge stalking, develop a retargeting campaign on platforms such as Google, LinkedIn, and Facebook. The goal is to get them to say, I see this company everywhere. With your clients, with our clients, sorry, we create an omni-channel approach and strategy that includes email, LinkedIn, private message, and voice, voice calls, as well as telephone and direct mail. Now, step four is build value. This is critical. Now, once you have their attention, you have to give them a big enough reason to consider you as an option. You need to do this by demonstrating value. Now, value in your products and services, value in your influence, and value in you. Now, here is a caveat. You can't do this by doing nothing. You heard me. You have to do something. You must come out of the shadows and stand in the arena. Now, the easiest way to do this is to be demonstrating your products and services, the benefits and why every single day on all of your digital platforms, a website, socials, events, basically anywhere where your dream client spends time, you must be visible. Now, this is a game plan. It's not a one trick pony or a nanosecond strategy. This strategy takes time, persistence, and patience because you are building momentum. So many many businesses give up just before their marketing starts working. So you must believe in your strategy and build value so that this becomes your magnet. And number five is closing the deal. And this is all about your proposition. You need to be clear and knowing that your uh, strategy has you on their radar. This is that one moment that you get to make that glorious impression. Before I share with you some tactics, I need to make something very clear. It took Russell Brunson many years to get the attention of Tony Robbins. Many, many years. But when he did, it supercharged his reach and gave him abundance and friendship. Not every proposition will work. In fact, most will not work. That is why it's about persistence. Here are three tactics that you can deploy successfully. And one, packages. Yes, posting packages to your dream clients. You can give away a t-shirt, a pen, a notebook, a calendar, right? Even your book. I sent a copy of my Amazon best-selling book, An Introduction to a Business Growth Mindset, to my Dream 100, and it was 10x to my sales, okay? Only 12 people replied to the package but they shared it with their networks and two of them loved the book so much they bought 50 copies each to give away to their team and their clients. Now, many companies have now bought my book for their team because it's simple and relatable and it creates momentum. I also generated a handful of new clients from my Dream 100 into my one-on-one advisory program called Grow and Flourish. Number two, parasite marketing. Now, I know... Uh, I know that's not what you were expecting in a title, but it's it's relevant, trust me. This is things such as emails, direct mail, billboards, and bus stops directly outside their offices or along their commute. This is the easiest form of getting attention, but it's often the least effective of the three. Now, number three, joint ventures. This is one of my absolute favorite, and this technique can scale you faster than the other two. Okay, now, for example, offer them a guest spot on your podcast. Now, okay, this is not for the majority of you, but this is a real value proposition for most people because it plays to their ego and it gives them an opportunity to be exposed to your audience. It builds massive value. Now, I'm in the process of building out a new podcast series that features CEOs and business owners where we tackle the pain points that they experience and how they overcome the challenges, and thrive. Now, you can create a joint venture with someone who has a complementary product or service that you can both leverage from your lists and grow. So start to think about who on your Dream 100 fits this profile. 
Number six, the final step, persistence and repetition. And this is where the Dream 100 strategy comes to life. Chet Holmes demands action, and he suggests that you should proposition your Dream 100 regularly, as regular as, or as often as 30 days. Now, he's a firm believer that every proposition that you make must be followed up with an old school telephone call. You heard me, a phone call, right? Now, I don't know about you, but trying to get my team to make a phone call is like pulling teeth out sometimes. Now, I've heard every reason why chat rooms and messenger and emails are better, but nothing will get more attention than a phone call. And it's proven that closing on a call is 80% more effective. Now, by getting to them physically, be it in person, on a call, or get something to them in their hands, you'll increase your chance of getting noticed. Now, the power of the Dream 100 is that you can focus all your sales and marketing efforts on this one list of 100 individuals and companies. Imagine never ever having to attempt a scattergun approach to an ad campaign, not having to rely on Facebook's algorithm to get a potential suspect. The Dream 100 concentrates on your effort and this focus ensures resources are maximized. The ultimate power is that it will take one to two conversations and your list will explode. Now, for example, if you're chasing affiliates like Brunson, then all it took was one of his 100 to agree to promote ClickFunnels, and this drove others in his Dream 100 to convert, and within three years, his SaaS solution was turning over $100 million. With our clients, we help them apply the Dream 100 strategy to their business from the onset. We use LinkedIn, well, we use targeted LinkedIn strategies to get in front of their lists And with patience and persistence, they convert often and consistently. Now, we help them reduce their marketing spend and they deliver better value to their audience, which results in more customers. Now, Chet famously says, plan your work and work your plan. The Dream 100 provides you with a list of your best buyers and builds loyalty in your community. It utilizes stack marketing methods that are repetitive. This provides you with the best opportunity to be seen and get attention, which ultimately helps you close faster and better each time. If you want to develop your Dream 100 list and build a strategy, I invite you right today, right now, to book a Dream 100 strategy call with me. Now, I'm going to drop the uh, link in the show notes. So here's my thing. Why wait? Why not just decide to grow your business? with proven strategies and live your best life. Raise your standards and step up. Today's your day, it's your life, it's your legacy, and you can build it right now. All you need to do is make a decision to move forward. Make a decision to develop and implement the Dream 100 strategy today, and guess what? You don't have to do it alone. You can achieve and be fulfilled and live with passion and purpose every day. So this is your time to decide. Join me in living your best life. For me, this is about being in a peak state. And if you don't know how, join me on LinkedIn where I share videos almost every day and immerse yourself and raise your standards. Step up and make your move right now. Connect with me and let me know in the connection request that you're listening to my podcast. If you're ready to make your move, grow your business to a new level and raise your standards, go to the link in the show notes and book your strategy call with me. It's 100% free. I have loved hanging out with you today and showing you how to build your Dream 100 and grow your business. I hope you found the information encouraging and that you can use it in your quest to show up, stand up, raise your standard and step up in life. Now, if you love today's episode, please, before you turn it off, take a minute to rate it, provide a review, and while you're there, share the episode and tag me on your social platforms and gift the gift of knowledge to others. As always, as my son has now been trying to show me, live with purpose.